纽约玩翻天，今天来到了位于第二大道七八街之间的 p o m f r e t s 正宗的比利时薯条店，品味一下来自比利时的薯条风味。美国的快餐，大家都会想到薯条和汉堡。薯条也被称作是 French fries， 法式薯条。其实，在欧洲的另外一个国家比利时，人们对于薯条的喜爱丝毫不亚于美国和法国呢。今天纽约玩翻天就来到了 Saint Marks 的一家比利时薯条店，一起去品味一下特色的比利时薯条。还未走进这家薯条店，门口超大的薯条雕塑已经让人远远就能找到小店所在。走进店里，有些昏暗的灯光衬上黑木条相助的灰泥墙，让人联想起了中世纪的小屋。店面十分的袖珍，除了墙上的几幅画之外，几乎没有什么装修。唯一特色的就是小店后面大袋大袋的土豆堆得老高，可能是为了显示小店所用材料都是货真价实，保证新鲜吧。小桌小椅上很细心地钻上了几个洞，正好能够把一份份纸包的薯条稳稳地放在上面，十分利落。啊，你想这个比利时的薯条店一定是一个正宗的比利时人开的，其实不然。这边的这个女主人 s u z a n 呢，其实是正宗的纽约客呢，让我们就好好的采访她。怎么样想到这么棒的一个点子呢 ？Hey Suzanne, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to our show. Thanks so much. So Suzanne, I heard you're a total authentic New Yorker. Yes. So what makes you want to come up with this、uh, Belgium fried place? <laughs> Um, as a student traveling through Europe,、uh, I would find, I would go to the fried shops on every street corner of the Netherlands and in Belgium, and I thought it was a great idea. And after graduating from college, I found myself working for a travel company, so I was traveling back to Europe fre frequently. And I kept saying in the back of my mind, "Oh, the fry shop, you know, the European style fry shop would be great here in New York City." So after about eight years of thinking about it, I left that job. I wrote a business plan, I raised the capital, and I opened the shop、uh, in 1997. Oh, 1997. So it's almost 10 years right now. That's right. Wow, that's great. So、uh, when you do the decoration, did you have that in mind? Also, you want to make it more like European kind of little store look. Yes, I wanted to sort of、um, keep the European experience very much involved in, in, in you know, coming here to Pomfret as a customer. <laughs> yes. So, like, you always come up with、uh, different sauces, like once in a while. Yeah.、Um, sauce? Our sauces,、um, since we've opened, we 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 haven't really changed that many of our sauces, but we do have special sauces, sort of of the month, that will change every so often. Um, but some of the sauces, just the customers love, 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 and they really don't want to see a change.、Wow. But we do introduce a few new sauces here and there. So, what are the、uh, regular customers you have? French fries or Belgian fries tend to be sort of something for everyone. So no matter what your background is, whether you're rich or old, or you're poor or you're young, or you know whatever it is, people seem to love to eat fries. So it's something for everyone. Great,、mm, right, definitely. I can smell really strong <laughs> fry smells. Just overwhelming. So wonderful. Can't wait to try some now. Sure. 薯条最大的特色就是它多达二十多种的调味酱料：咖喱番茄酱、芥末酱、花生沙爹酱、芒果酸辣酱等等，真是让吃惯了番茄酱配薯条的美国佬们大开眼界。而想要学学正宗比利时人的做法，就是把酱汁直接的浇在新鲜出炉的薯条上面。啊，如果你面对二十多种的酱料，不知道从何选择，没有关系，这边有免费的样品供你试吃，直到你满意为止。嗯，看看这个味道怎么样？嗯，闻的真的是很香哦。哇，真的是外酥，而且呢，里面非常的嫩哦。听说呢，这边的薯条有个秘诀。
是要煮锅两次，他们先用低温呢，把所有精选的马铃薯呢，先把它煮一煮，然后呢，等到大家来已经点菜的时候呢，再把它放到热油锅里面炸上两三分钟，所以就会造成这个外酥里嫩的这么一个效果，嗯，非常的棒。小店开张近十年，客源不断，尤其是因为附近有许多啤酒店，店里鼓励客人自带啤酒。啤酒做薯条，原本就是一大享受，难怪小店总是大排长龙。如果你一对 French fry 法式薯条百试不厌，如果换个口味尝尝看比利时的薯条，应该会带给您不少的惊喜。不过来到这里就不要像个外行，点一个番茄酱，你要试试这边各式的特色酱料，一定会让你爱不释口哦。不过卡路里的问题可就要您自己负责了。感谢大家收看，我是王新坤，下期节目当中再会。